to keep in mind over the summer. The 100 deadliest days of summer are here, and this is the deadly stretch that we tell you about between Memorial Day and Labor Day, especially when crashes involving teens tend to increase and add hurricane season to the mix and Florida roads face a double threat. Now AI technology is stepping in to spot danger before it's too late. Summer in Florida brings beaches, storms and busy roads and with more drivers comes more danger. On average, eight people lose their lives every day in teen related crashes between Memorial Day and Labor Day. AAA says that's a 30% increase compared to the rest of the year, a period now known as the 100 deadliest days, a reason to use caution. Keep in mind that you're sharing the road with a lot of folks who might be in town from another state who might be here for the first time and not familiar with the roadways. So just be courteous of other drivers. Add a hurricane evacuation to the mix and response time becomes critical. Inside Tampa's Traffic Management Center, artificial intelligence is making early response possible. When we have early notification of something that's going on, whether it's a, whether it's a crash or a disabled vehicle, the earlier the notification we get, the quicker we can respond and the bigger impact we can make. Recor's AI system is used across Tampa and other parts of Florida, scanning roadways in real time, flagging hazards and alerting first responders within seconds. On average, we detect incidents nine minutes faster. So it's detecting the crash faster. We, we help the first responders and the operators get to that incident, to that crash, to that uh, closure out there, clear it out faster. But what actually is really key is that it helps reduce the impact that is happening on the roadways after that. For each minute that a lane is closed, it creates four minutes of congestion out there. It can even detect congestion patterns during emergencies like severe weather or evacuations. Hurricane Ian, our deployment with the Pinellas County Public Works and Traffic Management Center was focusing on helping evacuation, identifying the roads where there'd be evacuation, where the bottlenecks are happening, and working with our partners such as Waze to be able to communicate that back to the drivers. It's a proactive shift in traffic management. We have two full-time operators, and among other things, uh, some of their critical functions are to monitor and respond to real-time traffic conditions. The AI actually helps to expand those monitoring capabilities so we can focus on the response. And as Florida roads heat up with summer risk, the technology could help keep more families safe. We can actually start in sending information back to the cars. So think about notifying you in the, in the vehicle that you have a incident ahead and the right shoulder closed or an imminent slowdown. These are all types of alerts that can now be more connected to the drivers to help you possibly proactively know of something happening ahead and more aware of what's going on the roadways.